It is my distinct pleasure to introduce the speaker for tonight's commencement exercises. Stuart Parker graduated with a degree in business administration from Valdosta State University, where he was a distinguished graduate of the Air Force ROTC program. Upon graduation, he was commissioned a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force, where he honorably served as a pilot for 10 years before embarking on a successful business career. In 1998, Parker brought his passion for helping the military community to USAA. He went on to serve as president of USAA's property and casualty company, as well as chief financial officer and chief operating officer before becoming CEO in 2015. Today, Parker leads the Fortune 125 company serving more than 11 and a half million military members and their families. USAA is committed to helping its members achieve financial security through banking, investments, and financial services, as well as auto, home, and life insurance. Parker also serves on the board of directors of FM Global, one of the world's largest commercial and industrial property insurers. He is a lifetime member of the Air Force Association, Air Force Sergeants Association, the American Legion, Disabled American Veterans, Military Officers Association of America, and Veterans of Foreign Wars. Please join me tonight in welcoming distinguished alum, Stuart Parker, back to Valdosta State University. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. It feels great to be back to Valdosta. I grew up here, and to be on the stage with Dr. State, the faculty and staff, the distinguished guests that we have in the audience, but most importantly, the class of 2016 and their family and friends. Thank you for inviting me. As I grew up in Valdosta, my family was not well off. In fact, during the summer, I would work in the tobacco fields. My mother raised me, my brothers, and my sister. But as a family, we came together, and we had everything we ever needed. Like many of you, my mother is my hero and my role model. She taught me about unconditional love and hard work. When I stepped foot on campus today, I had this flood of emotions and memories of Valdosta State. I remember basking in the sun on the front campus, just enjoying the beauty of the campus at Valdosta State. And I certainly remember trying to avoid all those pesky parking tickets. I was a proud member of the SAE fraternity where we were true gentlemen supporting each other and supporting our community. And in the ROTC department, when I received my Air Force commission, it was one of the highlights of my life. Valdosta State gave me a strong educational foundation that really served as the gateway for my dreams. It was here at Valdosta State that I learned the language of business, taking my finance and accounting classes. And I use that today. I remember my speech communications professor just instilling the importance of body language and storytelling. And I remember taking my art appreciation class and how it did enrich my life. When I was on my honeymoon in Paris with my young bride, I impressed her because I could recognize works of art. But in my ROTC program, it did reinforce my core values. It taught me leadership skills and certainly it refined my love for serving our country. I'm grateful to be back at Valdosta State and thankful, thankful for all the people that helped me grow. I've learned that none of us achieve success in a vacuum. I'm here today because of the love and support of my family, my friends, my mentors. And these include my wife, Ronnie, my daughter, Georgia, 
my mother Margie, my brothers LV and Daniel, and many others along the way. Whatever you accomplish in life, you will do so with the help of others. Humility and gratitude will serve you well no matter where you go. So I'd like to ask the graduates of 2016 to take a moment to show thanks to our parents, to our siblings, to our friends, to our family. So class of 2016, please stand up. And I want you to turn to the people in this audience that have supported you all along the way. They may be here, they may be a thousand miles away, they may be looking up from above. Wave to them, blow them a kiss, give them a fist pump. Tell them thank you. Thank you for doing that, graduates. Please have your seat. The class of 2016, you are graduating into a world of relentless change. Flexibility is going to be an essential skill that you're going to have to refine. For me, flexibility meant that I had, to continue grow, I had to continue to grow and to adapt. After receiving my Air Force commission, I went on to pilot training, and upon receiving my wings, stayed on as a T-38 instructor pilot. My next assignment was to fly C-141s, which are jet transports, in South Carolina. I had the privilege to serve during Operation Desert Shield and Desert Storm. And during that time, we had 23-hour missions flying with three pilots. Many times we would take off from Spain, go all the way down to Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, dropping off troops and cargo, refueling and coming back. I was loving life. That was my dream. But then life, it threw me a curveball. After 10 years of flying in the Air Force, at the age of 31, I was medically retired. My high-flying dreams of becoming a wing commander someday were grounded. And there I was, looking over an abyss, not sure what, lo what lay ahead of me. But I had two options. I could live my life wondering what could have been, or I could be flexible. I could reinvent myself. I could adjust my sights. So I decided to pursue another passion, the love of business. I remember as a small child reading stories about people coming to America just to start their own business. And that inspired me. So I decided to go back to school, study finance, and earn an MBA. I went on to launch two small companies, and those skills helped me to understand how to truly run a business. So for the graduating class of 2016, the imperative for flexibility should really come as no surprise. In fact, it should come as good news. This generation has always embraced technology. You are digital natives. There will be more entrepreneurs coming from this generation than any generation before them. And what I really appreciate about this class and this generation is, it, is that you embrace people with different backgrounds and different perspectives. Flexibility is your strength and it will differentiate you from anyone in the workforce. But during this tough economy and competitive job market, you're gonna to need to wield that flexibility like never before. So I ask you, be open to different directions in your life. Be purposeful in the books that you decide to read, on the vacations that you go on, even the volunteer activities that you pursue. You need to learn and grow from them. And when you have the opportunity to do some additional duties, Tackle them, master them, it will help you as well. Push yourself to the point where you fail and learn from those failures. That's part of lifelong learning. But there's one thing even more important than flexibility. It's finding out what you love to do, what gives you meaning in life. Please, do not chase money. Do not chase status. Do not chase the limelight. They are fleeting and they will not sustain you for the long haul. 
I recently read about the two most important days in your life. The first is the day that you were born. And the second, it's not the day you graduate from college. It's not the day you get married. It's not the day you have your first child. The second most important day in your life is when you find out why you were born, what your purpose is, what you were meant to do. And unfortunately, some people, they never have that day. But my hope for you is that you do. I found my purpose when I became a financial planner for USAA in 1998. USAA has this incredible mission. It's to facilitate the financial security of the men and women who serve our country. But you may be surprised to know that those serving on active duty today, one third of them are living paycheck to paycheck. And USAA is there to give them advice, to help them take control of their finances, to help them plan for their children's college education, to have a stable retirement, to experience some of life's adventures that they so richly deserve. So serving as a financial planner today gives me the same purpose that I had as an Air Force pilot. And since I have found my purpose, I really feel like I haven't had to work. Now, part of being part of the USAA family has allowed us to not only reach out to active duty military, but also to some veterans who have fallen on hard times. Today in our country, one out of three homeless people are veterans. So that means that tonight, across our country, over 300,000 veterans will not have a safe, comfortable place to sleep. That is a national tragedy. I recently visited Haven for Hope in San Antonio, Texas. It's one of the nation's largest homeless transformational campuses. And every night about 1,600 homeless people come there to seek refuge. Many of them are veterans. And when I spoke with those veterans, it broke my heart. They were lonely and they were struggling. So as a company, right then and there, we decided to set a goal to change that. We invested over $2 million. We worked with the city of San Antonio. And what I'm happy to tell you is that tonight in San Antonio, if you're a veteran and you need a warm, safe place to sleep, we have one for you. And so you can see from my journey that you never know where your life is going to head. My original plan to serve our country as an Air Force pilot, it changed, but I still get to serve the men and women who protect our country. So graduates, as you embark on this exciting journey, just remember, stay humble, be grateful, recognize that flexibility is your strength, and most importantly, find your purpose and pursue it with a passion. Congratulations, good luck, and Godspeed. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Stuart, for taking time out of your busy schedule to be with us today as we celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates. We also thank you for your service to our country and for the commitment that you and all of your colleagues at USAA have demonstrated to our nation's servicemen and women and their families. Your success reflects well on Valdosta State University and we are very proud of you. As a token of our appreciation, it is my pleasure to present to you this evening the single highest honor awarded by Valdosta State University, the President's Medallion. Please accept this on behalf of the entire VSU community and remember your alma mater as you reflect upon this day. Thank you.